This is a tutorial on adding um, package files or multiple files to Blackboard 9.1. Uh, in the old version of Blackboard, uh, if you had a folder uh, with multiple files in it, say you got it from a Camtasia Studio output or you created a learning activity that had HTML file and then a number of image files that were linked to the HTML page, you would have to zip it up and then unpackage it in Blackboard. Now you don't have to zip up uh, your folders and upload them. You can actually just take the folder with the files in it and put it into Blackboard. So I'll show you how to uh, unpackage a zip file in 9.1 or upload multiple files into 9.1. And basically you just have to go to your content area and I'm going to go to build content, click on file, and then I'm going to go to browse course files. And these are the files associated with the course in the content system. And right now I've got uh, some files that were already uploaded in folders, but I want to actually bring in the folder or zip file into the content system. When I click on upload, I can either upload multiple files or upload package. Upload package is the choice if you want to upload that zip file. Uh, if you use this option, uh, make sure that you uh, create a folder first, because if you unzip these files into this directory, it can be kind of messy. So I'm going to actually just upload the multiple files to show you that you don't need to uh, unpackage a zip file anymore. So if I click on Upload Files, uh, I have the option to drag and drop a folder full of files into the content system or just browse to the files. In this case, I'm just going to select the folder with all the files. And the content system recognizes that I have a folder with multiple files within it. And when I click Submit, it will show me uh, the files that are being uploaded. It's fairly quick. And then take, it takes me back to the content system. So if I scroll down, I can see that I now have a uh, folder. And if I go within it, here are all the files that were just uploaded into that folder. And in this case, I'm going to look for the HTML file. And that's actually on the next page here. I'm going to click on it and then click Submit. Now when I do, um, I don't have to mess around with permissions in the content system. By default, it says give the users read access to all files and folders in the folder. So when the student clicks on this index file, it should read that file in all associated files. If for some reason I wanted to give them only access to certain files, I could do that too. I can also change the name of the file. I'll just call it learning activity. I'm going to open the HTML in a new window, track views here, and then click Submit. I'll turn my edit mode off so I can see it as a student would, and now I have a link to a learning activity, and when I click on it, I have the multiple files, uh, including the index file, uh, showing up in a new window.